At the tail end of 2021, there came a show on Netflix called Arcane, based upon the popular game series League of Legends. Inevitably, the praise for it came, and not long after, I decided to give it a watch to see what got people excited. After finishing it, I came to the consensus that it was a pretty good show overall, and over time, I have come to appreciate this series more and more, not only by seeing its potential, but by noticing something that sets this show apart from many others in the entertainment industry. Let us take a step into the world of Arcane. In the ever-divided city of Piltover, we follow sisters Vi and Powder, who come from a place called the Undercity, where the less fortunate and underprivileged citizens of Piltover reside. Vi and Powder are orphans who were taken under the wing of Vander, an old leader of a failed revolution against the powers that hold precedence over Piltover. From Vander's violent past, there was also a man by the name of Silco, who has worked in the shadows, creating a drug called Shimmer, used to create super soldiers in a plan to start another revolt against the leaders of Piltover, in hopes of building his own nation. Meanwhile, in the upper city, a young man named Jace strives to attain the arcane magic through science, years after a mage saved him and his mother from a violent snowstorm. The counselors of Piltover do not take kindly to this at first, as in the past, magic has been seen as a destructive force that has brought down civilizations. But with the help of a scientist by the name of Victor, Jace manages to convince the council the good that can come from it. Back in the Undercity, Vander's past catches up to him as Soko captures him and brings him to his shimmer refinery. Vi and her friends set out to rescue him, but Powder is told to stay behind. Powder goes to help anyway, but instead causes a tragedy, getting friends caught in the crossfire and forcing Vander to sacrifice himself to protect Vi. Vi lets out an emotional outburst towards Powder and leaves her. Soko comforts Powder, and Vi ends up being apprehended by a Piltover enforcer named Marcus. Cut to a couple of years later, and we see the result of past events. Jace is the city's golden boy, Vi is in prison, and Powder works for Silco, who has now gained power over the people of the Undercity. As the story continues, we see corruption and plots unfold, as unlikely alliances are formed and loyalties are tested. One thing that became apparent to me in the writing of this show is that character is valued. Let me explain. The characters of Arcane are well nuanced and are given the time to be explored, as well as their views and ideologies. Also, you have a broad range when it comes to the diversity in this show, such as different races and sexualities, but they never interfere with the plot or are made to be a big part of the characters. Something that has plagued the entertainment industry for the past couple of years is identity politics, where characters are used as political mouthpieces and whose identities are pushed to the forefront of their characters. One infamous example I can think of is the show Batwoman on the CW. All crows are bastards. A result of this in some cases is the sacrifice of one particular group of people in order to raise another one up, such as men and women. I'm not about to let a man take credit for a woman's work. I've dealt with plenty of trigger-happy flyboys like you. You're impulsive. Dangerous. And the last thing we need right now. Exercising this technique on writing characters has proved to be damaging, as character favorites have been disrespected and fan bases are divided. This ends up making Arcane a breath of fresh air, as we are given complex characters and a good story to get invested in. The characters in the series are not perfect, as they shouldn't be. You see, most of them struggle in different ways, dealing with their current situations thus making them relatable. Vi deals with the result of past actions, as she desperately tries to reconnect with her sister, Powder, who is now mentally unstable and goes by the name of Jinx. Vi also must join forces with a Piltover enforcer named Caitlin, the daughter of a counselor, in hopes of taking down Silco and his operation. The two don't get along at first, as they both come from different backgrounds and upbringings, but their experiences together bring them closer to each other, and a potential romance is hinted at. Jace does his best to accomplish his dream of helping the citizens of Piltover with magic, 
but soon finds out he may be dealing with more than he bargained for, and with some force he doesn't entirely understand. Multiple things weigh in on his mind, as thoughts of his fellow scientist and friend Victor dying, the fear of his creation Hextech get into the wrong hands, and keeping peace with the other counselors loom over him. The main antagonist, Soko, seeks to go through with this plan of conquering Piltover, but his affection for Jinx may be getting in the way of that. Soko and Vander used to be close as brothers during the past revolution, until there was a violent fallout between them. After that, Soko continued down his path of destruction, but it is because of Jinx that Soko finally understands why Vander refused to fight the powers of Piltover. And in his dying words, he tells Jinx, Don't cry. You're perfect. When writing characters for what they are instead of who they are, you not only run the risk of stereotyping, but also running the risk of alienating your audience. It also comes to a point where you don't feel you are watching characters, but projectors of someone else's insecurities or agenda. I would not recommend this, especially with blood franchises. These characters are treated with the level of respect and care I believe all writers should strive to give to their creations, as these stories should bring people together, rather than divide. An identity shouldn't be the thing that defines a character, it's a character's actions that make them who they are. I look forward to the future of Arcane, and I hope you enjoyed this breakdown. Have a good day.